What's going on guys? Chad CRC back with it here on the channel. Today let's do some Acrobrat talk. Loving the Acrobrats. You can see both of them back here. The one on top is running the Split Mini. The one on the bottom is running a Micro Eagle. 3.4 beta flight up here. 3.5 beta flight there. And I have a Caddx Turtle coming for this one right here. I'm pretty excited. I want to see how much better the video actually is. You really don't know until you get it in front of you, but watching things on YouTube, it looks like it might be a little bit better. So I'm pretty excited about that. So real quick, both of my setups, I'm running the same thing, Talon FC, Speedix, uh, ESC, the, the combination pack from Heli Nation, Brother Hobby 1407 4100 KV Motors, Gemfan 3052 Props, and I already went over the cameras. They both got Unify uh, HVs in them and a couple different antennas, Triumph and Pagoda and all that kind of stuff. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is we'll talk about tuning and batteries and then go over some video and stuff. So I want to talk about batteries. A lot of people are talking about what battery to run, 650, 850s, 1,000 milliamps. I've seen a lot of people doing a, different, a lot of different things and everything really looks good. I have been running 650 China Hobby Lines on mine. Both of my quads weigh about, I think, between 196 and 202 or 203 grams. So they're right there in the same amount. So the batteries, I think, weigh like maybe 10 or 15 grams more than each other. So I'm at like 270 and like 285, 290, somewhere around there with the 850. So I got the 850s. And I've been, uh, I actually only got to test the A50s on the split uh, one today, and we'll look at that video. I definitely had to retune. The 850 was just, the, the extra weight just took a lot away from how it has flown for me and how I personally liked it. I didn't get to try it on the 3.5 uh, with the Micro Eagle yet, so I'm going to try that tomorrow as soon as I can. But yeah, the tune really was way out of whack with just a little bit of increase in weight. So it really shows you like what happens when you just add a little bit of weight to these micro quads because really you're adding like eight to like 10% more weight to it. So it really affects the whole power to weight ratio and everything like that. So there's been a lot of good builds, a lot of good stuff on the Acrobrat F, uh, so there's been a lot of awesome builds and a lot of cool things going on on the Acrobrat Facebook group. It's a great community to be a part of. I'm loving them. I'm flying them like crazy. I'm going to Ready Made RC FPV Fest next weekend, so I'm pretty excited to take them with me and show them around to everybody and let them see what they think and see if anybody else is actually flying them there as well. So that should be pretty cool. So let's get into talking about uh, some tuning and stuff like that, and I'll show you the PIDs here on both of the machines. So let me go ahead and switch to the screen recorder, and we'll plug both of them in the beta flight, and we'll see what we got. All right, so everybody's got a different kind of flying style. You know, mine's kind of more of like a proximity type of flying style. I don't do a lot of crazy stuff. But with Betaflight 3.4 and 3.5, there's just some things that you definitely should do for sure. If you look at the 3.4 tuning notes, which are right here, a couple things that you want to do. Some of this is going to be automatic in 3.5, uh, but the best thing to do for sure is to play around with your low pass filters here. And this will help out a little bit. All you got to do is copy and paste these. And this is kind of like something that you're going to want to do after you go ahead and start flying. Or you can just set it up right at the beginning and start going from there. I'm running this setup here, which it says for a typical 5-inch quad. Um, really with the MPU 6000 gyro, 120 low pass is pretty much where you want to be anyway. So you can go ahead and set that up if you want to from the beginning. Um... The other thing you want to do if you're running uh, 3.4 is you do want to make sure that you go into the CLI and set iTerm rotation to off because we really don't need that with freestyle quads. It's kind of like a line of sight thing that they've developed and we really don't want that turned on. Uh, the other thing you want to do is your throttle boost. It's It comes automatically set to 5. Uh, some people like it like around 2 or 3 so you might want to change that as well. 
and if you go on down here I think there's one more nope that's gonna be it so the big thing is gonna be in 3.5 of course because that's got the whole feed forward and everything like that going on with it but before we get too crazy into all that let's take a look at what's going on with the 3.4 so configuration I'm running D-Shot 600 6% 6 motor um, idle all that kind of stuff all that's pretty much normal going to the receiver tabs here and we see that I have actually on this one I should be set to auto well, what's going on with that okay I'll save that so we definitely want auto RC smoothing on which is something that they've got they've recently added which changes and gets rid of these steps that you get when you're doing different kind of movements at different speeds and stuff I first learned, learned about this when I was doing some Helio uh, tuning and black boxing and stuff. And it's something that really can drive things crazy and create like spikes in your PID loop and everything. It can create hot motors and all that kind of stuff. So you definitely want to make sure that that is set there. And that's pretty much all we need to do in 3.4. And now with tuning, you can see here, this is where I have changed the actual uh, filter settings here. So, you know, we're running 120 on here and 100 and 250, which should match up with our actual stuff back here. If we look at, yep, 100 and 250. So we're good there. So this is the 850 milliamp 4S rates that I've come up with. Um, you, I always set my set point to one and my transition is always around 0.3 to 0.4 depending upon where I'm at. Um, Anti-gravity is set to six. I've got some TPA going on here, but you can see, um, you know, kind of what my PIDs are for the 850 and we'll show you the actual flight on that, how it started and how it ended up. And then here's what I'm running at uh, 650 right now on this setup. And it it's flying great, you know. It's really, I haven't found really a, a jello or bad video with, with any kind of PID settings. Uh, really, it's just all about just kind of fine tuning things to how you like to fly by changing you know your your pee a little bit and your eye gains to kind of keep things like level a little bit easier and then you know setting up uh, the weight and transition which we know in 3.4 it directly affects your D value so if you change your D value it's gonna change this down here and how it behaves so you might have to mess around with that a little bit as well so that's the 650 uh, PID settings so let's take a look at some of the video now from this copter. So here's my first flight running the 850 on the 650 PIDs that I had. And you can just see how everything is real floaty and kind of like just all over the place. So I kind of worked on those a little bit. And you can see here that I actually, this is the actual tune PIDs that I ended up with that I'm flying with with the 850 and you know it flies really good it's nice and smooth very very controllable this is on the uh, Betaflight 3.4 so I'm only expecting that whenever I tear this apart to put the um, well I'm not the turtles not going in this one but whenever I tear it apart to eventually hit that bootloader button because the impulse RC driver just isn't working with this these boards for some reason anymore I don't know what's going on but I'll probably go ahead and change that around and we'll update uh, this one to 3.5 as well just because I like having those settings in the configurator versus having them actually as like CLI command. But yeah, typical split uh, mini footage. Everything looks good. No problems with that at all. And then here is the same copter 3.4 on the 650 milliamp battery pack and I get a lot more of a crisper feel which is okay because I still want to try to keep it as slow and flowy as possible just because it, again it's the kind of flying that I do but it just seemed you know I, I can carry more speed it just seems a lot more reactive and a lot 
it seems funner to fly like it's closer to that five inch like it's definitely you know these aren't fly five inches for sure you know there's just tons of power loss when you go down everybody should know that by now but they fly really good for what they are but yeah i just really like the way that the 650 feels compared to the 850 now granted i've only put a couple packs through this one and just got it tuned and and the batteries didn't get charged in time to go ahead and try some more flights but i'll be trying it out and see how things go but you know the 650 really works out well all right so now we're looking at the other one with 3.5 put on it and we'll go right into the receivers tab first because this is where all of the stuff this is where really the magic starts to happen so you want to make sure that you are smoothing you know all channels and pretty much all this is just left at default right now not have it there really hasn't been a lot of explanation or anything why or why not um, they kind of got some tabs over here but they don't go over it really a whole lot in the actual tuning tab and right now if we go and look at my filters on here I actually have my filters set for a cleaner quad because this one's brand new and hasn't been crashed yet so whenever I want to eventually I can change these around a little bit to make them a little bit uh, you know put a little bit more up in the low pass so that way we don't have to worry about bending a prop and like you know frying anything so we have feed forward going on here I found that feed forward of 95 works pretty much good for my type of flying style on three inch five inch whatever it really doesn't matter it all seems to work like really good and I have my uh, transition which is kind of like you know your stick thickness or however you want to describe it you know how it feels um, at 0.43 here we can manually control our throttle boost we can manually turn off the iTerm rotation and have iTerm relax turned on manually as well and then we're using the new smoothing uh, for anti-gravity and I've got uh, 0.18 of TPA on this one right here and these are the PIDs these are for my 650 uh, milliamp I haven't got a chance to tune it for 850 yet and you can see my rates and stuff are like a little bit different on this one as well uh, just because 3.5 is behaving a little bit differently as far as like stick rotations and what I need to do to get like my complete flip or complete roll which I really don't do a whole lot of those anyway but you know that is what it is and then if we look at profile profile 2 I'm sorry this is another profile that I've been trying that you can see the PIDs are just a little bit here um, and D gains are really high when it comes to like prop wash and stuff like that I haven't really noticed any difference as far as like how the flight looks or or the footage looks or anything running D gains of like in the 30s versus all the way down in the 20s so it really comes down to the setup and you can see it in my DVR video which we'll take a look at right now here we are taking a look at the run cam DVR footage off of the 650 milliamp uh, 3.5 the beta flight 3.5 one the purple brat and you know the video again for DVR looks pretty good coming out of uh, the run cam micro especially on kind of an overcast day you know when it's sunny it definitely brings out like some of that weird color colorness that you get with sea mosses and stuff but you know this this brat feels really good in the air i mean it holds its lines it flies really good i don't know if it's i don't know it, it's it has to be just the different tune and the firmware doing it i just seem to have like total control whether i want to go fast or slow or whatever uh, the other big thing is is that you can actually see like that's the biggest downside of the split mini and stuff is you just can't see as well especially when it gets to be like dusk you know when you really want to get like the best filming and stuff that's when it really gets hit the worst which is very very unfortunate 
And then here's some more video from Ad this evening, actually, and it was a little bit sunnier out, so you can see that the DVR, DVR footage has corrupted it a little bit because of the CMOS type of deal. But again, you can just see how good this Brat flies on a 650 with Betaflight 3.5. Uh, maybe it's because I, you know, was finally comfortable. This was like the last pack of the night that I flew. And I think I ran like seven or eight packs uh, through um, both of the Brats. But this one definitely feels really special. So it'll be interesting to see how it actually goes on the 850. And I'm going to spend a lot of time like tuning that up and seeing if I can get anything else out of it. A little bit of jitterness right there. I think that's the iTerm rotation that I would finally decided to turn off. So we'll see how that does. But, you know, you could just see that you could just pretty much just do whatever you want to do with this thing. Fast, slow, the punch outs are good. I don't really hammer the sticks when I punch out and stuff really anyway. But trying to fly around, you know, what I can. But, hey, you know, it's it's awesome. I mean, it feels great. It's fun. Neighbors aren't complaining. So what can, what else can you say? So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Please comment. Please ask questions. I'll be posting everything to the Facebook group here. So hopefully we can all have a good discussion and keep learning from each other. Keep an eye out for more videos coming. We'll get that Caddx Turtle. Get that thing thrown in there. See how things go. And we'll keep. We'll uh, start working on the, um, a tune for the 850 milliamp uh, battery on this one and see how things go. So, but yeah, this, uh, this thing flies really good. And I did do a 3d print bumper instead of the brain, uh, 3d ones on this one, which are a little bit narrower. So you, you can see the difference between the two. Uh, uh. And I had to, I cut away some here on this one. So they weren't in the camera view, but on this one, it's a lot uh, more narrow. And then I painted the micro Eagle, uh, silver. So, nah, just something to do. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later.